Hi. <laughs> this is Macaroni and Me. And I'm Jonathan, your everything guy. And my sister is your camera lady. And that is an interesting fact. Today we're going to be making shepherd's pie macaroni. If you didn't think macaroni could get good, well, past pumpkin beefaroni, which was delicious, by the way. Hope you tried it. Uh, it can. And this next episode, hopefully, will prove that. This is going to be really awesome. Uh, I don't know if I explained the cost, but I probably spent close to $16 for all the ingredients. If you include the pan, the pan was about 20 bucks, so about $36. Uh, but it's going to make a whole pan's worth. So, you know, in retrospect, if you wanted to cut it down, you know, I don't know how the math is going to work there. <laughs> but less than $16 per meal. If you're the only one eating. If you're not, try to get it as cheap as I could. I bought like super cheap wine. But I got a, I was looking up online and I seen that they said, I'm not going to say who, but a certain chef that I like uh, said to uh, pick one that's not too dry so that I can enjoy the, the rest myself. Which I agreed with that. I'm going to enjoy a glass of wine while I'm making this. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Cool beans. Cool beans. I don't know if that's a phrase I can use or if that's already taken. I don't, I don't care. It is, as far as I know, it's not copyrighted. I don't know. I'm sure that I'm not washing these correctly. So, I am not a chef. And so I'm not cutting this like a chef cuts things. And the cutting board's like moving <laughs> while I'm doing <laughs> I know. But it's okay. Because you know what? Anybody can do this. Anybody can, can, and you don't have to have skills. Anybody can cut a potato. You don't have to have skills. You know what? This channel is about throwing shit together. No, I just want to go all the way through. I think that that's finally. <laughs> It'll break up when I sell it. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. So, just your, uh -huh, your average guy making the average food. She's got done cutting up the onions in an unprofessional manner. But about as professional as a regular average Joe can do in some good shots. aroma of the onion slash carrot combination that was supposed to be later but is now. <laughs> That's okay. The longer you saute the onion, the sweeter the onion. That's true. And I do maybe, like I do like sauteed onion. Maybe that's what we're going for in this channel. A sweeter onion. So uh, right now, you know, I'm sautéing carrots and onions. I'm supposed to sauté carrots and then onions, but you know, I just, you know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hopefully you're subscribing to my channel. Uh, for those of you that have watched my uh, pumpkin beefaroni, 
Uh, we are going to attempt to get a uh, regular schedule going at the moment. Uh, hadn't happened so far, but we're going to figure out a day. We're going to try and at least post once a week. At the moment, don't know which day, but we will try to attempt to get on a regular day. And once I really get into the mode of really, really doing this thing on a regular basis, then we'll have that day planned out. Um, yeah. So really just stirring like a regular average guy. <laughs> I pretty much just turn it up and then I stir. If you don't have one of these thingies, you know, cork thingies. That's a technical term, by the way. Cork thingies. You should get one. And if I'm doing it wrong, then just tell me in the comment section. He may or may not listen to you. You don't break my bottle of wine. Maybe we should back it down. <laughs> I'm, I'm on a gimbal. Okay, okay. The struggle is real, people. Scares me every time. <laughs> Scared face. So, I don't have to use it yet, but I'm going to use it with some Sprite. Just letting you know. Mmm, that does have a sweet aroma to it. Tender potatoes. These potatoes are ready to be mixed. <laughs> no, but it doesn't. It just has to be a little. The struggle is real. <laughs> the struggle to cook meat is true. <laughs> tablespoons of tomato paste. One cup. That's a lot of wine. <laughs> so, and while you're supposed to, it's going to reduce. I'm sure. <laughs> it's really weird trying to get it looking through the camera. Camera lady, stirring. Well, there's this one carrot that was just stuck on the side. It was bothering me. It was bothering me. Mm, yes. Mm, just slow pour. Oh man, it's wasting a lot of that wine. That's so horrible. Horrible <laughs> pour. I didn't make a slow mo. I don't just do camera work. How much I tomato paste? Two, 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 two tablespoons of tomato paste and some Worcestershire sauce. I can't remember how much Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. Well, 
Probably. Should probably go check that. Probably should go check that. Yeah. Do that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this into the Mac. No, I'm going to put the Mac in here. Okay. And mix it. And then... And I'm going to mix it. Oh, there it Probably spread it across. Probably. Which gonna get good. Sorry. It didn't hit my foot. I'm good. Damn it! No! <laughs> Yours, our baby. For twenty minutes. Alright, so I've successfully combined Shepherd's Pie and a regular box of macaroni and cheese. But to find out if it's good. Hopefully, because I made it out. It's hot. Mmm, it's hot. Mmm. But is it good? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, it is. Very good. Mm. 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 Delicious? Delicious.